Look real nice. Oh my god. Hey man. That is freaking you amazing. Said it did. <laughs> Okay, we have to do a job real quick. We're doing a job real quick that we need to do for sanity. Ron's is coming up. <laughs> we... Okay, I wanna do one for me, all right? It's, it's just real quick, but we're not doing a rebuild. This one is studded with blown head gaskets. It's a truck that we acquired down in Grain Valley and it's already got studs and we're gonna get the cab off. It's already pretty clean, just needs a quick vacuum. We've been through it and cleaned the truck a lot. And I've got the back ready to haul the camper. Uh, kind of our dedicated camper truck. I've had possession of this truck for about nine years, eight years probably, long time. I don't even know if we're gonna do the block. We're gonna put a set of lifters in it. I don't think we're gonna do bed plate either. I think we're gonna leave the base engine alone and do a little bit of practice what I'm preaching. Uh, don't fix it till it's broke. We're gonna just take the heads off and put Dan's, the video's up there, you'd have to watch the video. Put Dan's head gaskets on there. I don't wanna have this in here a long time. We're still gonna yank the engine out. If something messes up with it, if we screw ourselves up, if something happens, well, then I can just put it outside and be like, well, crap, lick our wounds a little bit, which I, you know, we don't have habits of that happening, but I still want to uh, pay attention on this. I can just go do whatever the hell I wanna do. And, and, and even if it, chucks a rod out the side of that engine block i don't it's not it's not like i have to uh or it's not going to hurt us well i mean it will it'll suck but it's not you know it's not like a customer's truck and have a little more leeway a little more experimental but all is okay to leave this is what this goal is right here get it all the way done throw some heads on this thing and not take the volvo and just drive this son of a gun to go get ron's truck so julie's taking the seats out we're going to clean the inside and let's start a little video series on this truck because it's a 06. Hey guys, it's Anthony here, Super D Service. Julie's truck. Oh, it is 07. 07. Yeah. And we're not doing anything with the interior other than putting it back together. Not even getting mirrors yet. Not getting headlights, grill, or bumper. It's not getting none of that right now. I think we're replacing this. <laughs> I can't wait. That's going to be exciting. And it needs tires. Tires absolutely suck. So I'm going to get the batteries out. Uh, once we get the seat done, because power seats, you need to move the seats to uh, pull the front and the back bolts out because I take the seats all the way out so we can get to that bolt back there and take these little rings off. It's kind of like the headlight sockets. Once you touch them, they pretty much break, but they're covers for right here. It's kind of nice if we could get them to fashion on there and stay. I don't, it doesn't offend me none. Wow. Once the seats are done, then I can disconnect the batteries. Air filter, radiator, charge air cooler, coolant bottle, disconnect the brakes, disconnect the AC. And we, we can yank the cab off real quick. One stud job, when it was already studded, it's like broke through everywhere. So obviously when they raised the cab, they didn't bother to take the push pins out. And they even didn't bother to put it back when they dropped them down. Maybe they just didn't even know that it happened. <laughs> take the rad supports off. And that way I can pick the radiator up a little bit and it will let it drain more into the bucket. Take two towels right here. Shove one towel in the radiator, lower hole. And shove the other towel in the lower radiator hose and then they won't drip all over you. Got my hands all greasy, but I let the transmission drain. I don't even try to cap it, don't even try, just let it go. Uh, Cause if you try to, and then the cap comes off, then you wind up with crap dripping for the whole rest of the job. Just drain as much of it out as you can. That's the best way. All right guys, Frank's here, he's, he's here. We are delivering the truck. Well, revert back to all those videos up there. We'll put it on a playlist and you can go back and check it all out. Okay, Anthony and Frank are gonna go on a drive. First time Frank ever turned a key. Six months. Six months. Six months. Six months. Oh, hey, it started! <laughs> it didn't like shake. I replaced the little thing here too. Well, let's see the first acceleration that he does. Oh, it's going to be dirty on the tires though. It's too cold to hit it. We'll just, it's all right. We'll just drive it a little bit. Let him get a little feel for it. I did reset the keep alive memory. I took the battery 
disconnected the battery. So there is no transmission learned right now. It's only how Frank drives it. Okay, so Frank brought us this. So what is going on here? What is this? It's packaged like. <laughs> what do you got? I did. <laughs> I had a plan. Hey, I was, I was gonna look I like the screws. Can I keep these? Menards. <laughs> I use these. Menards. Like, you want to take it back? <laughs> <laughs> we always need something. We're always willing to hand something to the front wheel. What? Okay. Wait, take it off? What's going on? Wait, wait. Frank's looking a little mischievous. I haven't looked yet. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, 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 wow. That is awesome. That'll work, huh? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Okay, Anthony's right. not speechless very often. I think he's speechless. Frank, you made him speechless. <laughs> he talks too damn much anyway. That is, that is badass. Yeah, there's little holes in here so you can hang it from chain. You said work stuff. <laughs> yeah. He said this is work stuff. I said, what's going on with this box here? He said, is that the way? You played it off too, like, you, like it's staying in the truck. <laughs> he's gonna turn on a light. Look real sharp, Clark. Look real nice. Oh my God. Hey man. That is freaking he said amazing. It, it shouldn't. It shouldn't rust. I mean. He said well, he, hell no. He did, it ain't going did. outside. <laughs> I mean, it's all coated, you know. But it does get a little humid in here, though. We've we've seen rust oh on some God. stuff. Oh my God. you. I figured you'd like that. Yeah. Yeah. A, yeah, a, a man. shitload. Yeah, man. You know, you got like two weeks left before Christmas. Oh my God. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Frank and I were in on that together. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, that is, that's, that's absolutely phenomenal. Now you have to think about where you want to put it. Yeah, there you go. There he goes. Frank's truck is done. Throwing rocks off of it. Oh, yeah, he can't go that fast. There's too many rocks and mud. Well, there she goes. She's like sending a kid off to college. She's all done. Pin over rebuild, push rods, balance rotating assembly, all that stuff we did. And now it's just taillights. See you later, old girl. <laughs>I say that but now we have got this truck this is Frank's truck we're gonna get under there and put on our factory part that we've got we got some uh well if you know you know I mean what we'll show you in future videos I'm gonna put it inside right now though Frank's gone oh my god he gave us that sign that sign is amazing i gotta find something to do with that sign where we're gonna hang it at but that is freaking awesome that's just oh, very very cool this is one sharp truck very clean just sharp you even got the little 3m tape on here for the chip protector we're gonna dig down in this thing soon so here we are. We have not taken this apart yet. I haven't. And we got grounds put on. That one's that one was like bent and run straight down. They just first couple of things I touch, I see stuff wrong. I just, you know. So what else are we gonna see in here? <laughs> what the hell is that? That should be a stud sticking up with a nut on it. Resourceful ghetto sons up. These cab bolts are freaking. They, they had a, a cab bolt from the back that goes back there on this, and then they had both plates that serve as washers on this side, and no plates on that side. Only one grommet that like isolates the cab from outside where the cab bolts are. Only one was there. They missed them all. 
So this is just one of the bang up jobs that you would have got, that you paid for, that you think you're gonna drive home and be proud of, and, and this ain't it. Ta-da. Holy goodness. Look, it wasn't even tight. This is a cobbled up, horrible piece of crap mess. Whoever did this stud job ought to just take themselves out the backyard and beat the shit out of themselves. There's just so much shit that they just, just half-ass cobbled. <sighs> we'll see plenty of it as we go. It's pretty freaking disgusting, though. Under the cab, like this, this whole piece right here, when it's falling down like that, I just I hate that nasty thing. Uh, we might wind up just taking that whole insulation out and not even having it in the truck. I... I don't know what to say about it. It looks like crap and you can't get it. I mean, we can check one more time and think there's any way we can get it. Because that's nasty. Just horrible crap. At least the back one doesn't look bad. We can deal with that one. Got to decide how far we're going to go with it. You know, because do I want to go balls of the wall, everything that we do? I mean, this one's, this is our truck here. And we've got Ron that needs to come in right now. He's waiting on us. Look at that spring pocket. God damn, I have some spring pockets upstairs. I mean, I've never seen one physically break through there, but uh, it, oh, we have? Yeah, one Oh my God, look at the frame. Oh goodness, at least, I mean, that's, it's still hopefully thick enough to, uh, you know, hold itself and drive down the road. So, yeah, cab off, that's what I wanted to get done so I can assess it and take it off back to the city. So I'm gonna leave this like this and decide if we're gonna go all the way, push this outside, get it power washed. We're gonna have to wire brush, like almost grind under it, get that all cleaned up so we can paint that and figure out what we're gonna do with that heat shield. And uh, clean the freaking transmission. It'll be time to put my rain suit on. It'd be nice to uh, follow through on the plans we have for this truck. You see that flat flange? Back in Grain Valley, I actually got possession of this truck and I got the title to it. I remember just having Darian go in and put the intake and Y pipe on it so that they're stored with the truck. We didn't really go do a whole bunch of crap. We might have put an oil cooler in it, probably a used oil cooler in it, but I just had the parts put on the truck so that they were here. And I'm really glad we freaking did. We don't do those on any vehicle that's not ours. If we sell a Y pipe, it definitely has the bigger flange on it, the OEM flange, not this flat stamped metal piece of crap. But I mean, it's gonna fly on this one. I'm gonna let it ride because, you know, it's our truck. We did have a whole bunch of smoking, if you saw, coming out of here because the glow plugs are bad and it wasn't even tight. <laughs> I've physically had this truck in my possession for probably eight years. <laughs> Yeah, so we're finally here. It only took eight years. And then again, we're going to see, because I was really considering trying to uh, not go all out. I mean, you can't argue with painting the frame, painting underneath the bottom. It's rust prevention. But as far as cylinder heads, I'm really wondering what they did with cylinder heads. Hopefully they didn't even do anything with them, like took them off. Maybe hopefully they didn't zip wheel them. Engine block, I'm not sure yet. We're just going to have to see how it looks. I mean, we might rebuild this some bitch. I don't know, but it, it ran freaking pretty good. And I'd like to have a different option that doesn't involve the uh, selling the perfect facade of touching every single thing on the truck. What will be good enough, what we can ride with, what we can leave, and what we have to address. So it's like a fine line between what is the most cost efficient versus best longevity, schedule, routine, a punch list to do to any of these freaking trucks, you know? I mean, even though every single truck has had different hands on it, like some dumb some bitch had her hands all over this freaking thing, and it's... <laughs> uh, work cut out for us. There's a wire coming off the transmission harness. I just cut it. It's going into the cab. I don't remember where that goes, so. But we got cab off. So check. Very good. One step down. Now we got 16,775 steps left to go. Broke the kickstand. <laughs> now let's use the socket. That socket works great for a kickstand, so you don't necessarily have to have it, <laughs> I guess. got big feet on it. 